Welcome back, friends, fans, fragrance dudes, and dudettes out there. This is Steven. Welcome back to Oded Treasure. What a weird introduction to a video this is. I'm going to open another one for you. I just did a video with um, a vintage, a small vintage bottle of Paco Rabanne Pearl. And this one is a vintage, this is a discontinued, somewhat of a vintage fragrance that's not really that popular, but I found it for a cheap price. I was made aware of it, uh, like I have a, a number of these. This is from the designer called Roberto Cavalli, and this is called Roberto Cavalli Man. And this came out in, uh, actually let me open this up first and then I'll tell you what it is and uh, what's interesting about it. And I'll tell you what it smells like because it's not sealed inside a box, so... Let's get this thing open. All right. All right, here they are. Actually, two of these came together. This was a set of two. Take a look at this. Um, so I'll tell you what this is. Roberto Cavalli Man. So this came out in 2003. This is a pretty popular designer that makes fragrances. There, A lot of these are, you can still get Roberto Cavalli fragrances now. You can get them everywhere. I think the rack stores have them. You can get them online. They're a pretty good price for a pretty decent uh, quality fragrance. Now the bottle is pretty cool. Look at how, how it has a, a snake. The snake is kind of, um, you know, it's sticking out of the glass there. You can see it's really cool. Really nice looking bottle. And on the back side too, this is the tail that comes around. It comes around here and it continues up. So it's a cool design. The box, it's too bad that these don't have the box. The box is a, it's like a, a python snakeskin design. It's like a blue snakeskin design. I'll show the box. Now these are tester bottles because they're missing the cap. The cap is like a, uh, it looks, it, it, the cap looks just like this. It's like a silver uh, square that snaps over these uh, sprayers. So these are 100 mLs. Let's take a look at the uh, bottom of these. There we go. Batch code 20484, huh? That's not a three, it's like a backwards three. E1, there it is. 20484E1. 204, is that a 54E1? I'm wondering if these are from the first year. I'll look them up to see if these are actually 2003. Tester, not for sale, 100 ml, Roberto Cavalli. What does this smell like? You're probably wondering, guys. Well, the nice thing that these are not in the box is that I can spray them. So let me spray this hand is clean. Check this out. All right. Now, I remember I bought these a few years ago. I have maybe, I don't know, four, something like that, three or four of these. Because I looked on eBay and they are selling. They're actually not that valuable. Uh, I think a, a brand new in the box 100 ml on eBay is selling for around 150, 130 bucks. 50 mLs are around like $100. So, what would a 100 ml nearly full and new tester go for? I don't know, maybe 50, 75 bucks. But the smell is pretty good. The scent is great. So this is an aromatic, it's a citrus aromatic, and it was made by the master himself. Who would that be? Who is the uh, freshy master? That would be Alberto Marias. This is an Alberto Marias creation. So this is something like Versace Pour Homme. It's similar to Versace Pour Homme with a little bit of spice to it. So if you can if you can picture what that is, if you know Versace Pour Homme, it's a great citrus fragrance. It's a modern citrus fragrance. You could say this was a little bit ahead of his time because this came out two decades ago. Yep, this is nice. It's just a uh, it's it's a little bit of a throwback. It's not really a modern citrus fragrance because it has some kind of a darker, I wouldn't even say dirty, but just a darker, spicier vibe to it. So that's what this is. Roberto Cavalli Man. What do you think about this set? 
What did I pay for it? Well, I paid 2,000 yen for this set, which is about 14 or $15 for both of these. Pretty good deal, guys, what do you think? I think it's a pretty good deal. And heck, I might even just wear these around or just one of them and sell the other one someday in the future. What else can I say about this one? I think that's about it. There's not much more to talk about. What's your favorite Roberto Cavalli fragrance, guys? I don't know anything about this line except for uh, this one, man. So tell me, what do you think of Roberto Cavalli as a, a designer? Are they uh, are the fragrances any good or not? Are they weak? This one, I think, is somewhere around... Uh, the performance, I believe, according to the ratings, is somewhere around average to... Average to decent. Maybe good. Something like that. All right. Give me a thumbs up. Guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Subscribe because this is my hobby. This is my video blog of just showing you what I'm buying and as they come in the mail. So this is just a fun project for me. But if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe. Please consider subscribing. And if you have any friends out there that are fragrance freaks that like the uh, the vintage, discontinued, rare, and interesting fragrance videos like this where I look at batch codes and clues on bottles to see if I can figure out when they came out. If you know anybody that likes that stuff, why don't you point them in the Oda Treasure direction? I really appreciate it, guys. And leave a comment. Say hello. Let me know what you think about this. All right? Have a great day out there. Until the next video, take care. Yeah.